Hi there, it's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing a topic that seems to bug me whenever I travel, and that's mosquito bites. I'll share why I'm a mosquito magnet and some tips on avoiding bites while traveling. Since I was a kid, I always seemed to be the one getting attacked by mosquitoes. Even now, I get swarmed whenever they're around me. It didn't seem to make any sense, but I suspected there might be a biological explanation. After doing some research, I found that mosquitoes are scientifically known to be attracted to certain blood types, with type O blood being the most common, which is awesome since my blood type is O positive. Mosquitoes are also attracted to a lot of other things, carbon dioxide, lactic acid, and the bacteria in our sweat. A person's biology can greatly influence how strongly these factors are present in our daily life. I'm convinced that I must have an extremely high combination of all these biological factors, as they always seem to find me. On my recent trip to Mexico, I found myself getting completely swarmed, especially the few times when I didn't have any repellent on my body. It was pretty awful, and for some reason, my bites tend to swell, so it looked like I got into a fight. It definitely made certain parts of the trip uncomfortable. Not only are mosquito bites annoying, uncomfortable, and totally gross, they can also transmit diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and Zika. So in order to protect yourself, here are our top 10 tips for dealing with mosquitoes while traveling. Number one, use insect repellent. There are a ton of options out there on the market. Most have DEET or picaridin, which are both effective insecticides and repellents. In fact, when looking at repellents, you want to focus primarily on the concentration of either of these insecticides. The higher the concentration, the more effective the repellent, but also the toxicity of the lotion or spray. There are also some with essential oils like citronella and tea tree oil, which seem to have some effect. However, in my experience, these are just not as effective as the insecticide-based repellents. My personal favorite is Ultrathon. I used it when I served in the military, and it just seems to work the best. It contains 34% DEET, so it's very strong and not necessarily the most comfortable stuff to wear. It smells unnatural and it makes my skin sticky, but when faced with swarms of mosquitoes, it seems to keep them away. It's a lotion instead of a spray, so I'm able to cover more areas of my body. Also, I like that the small tube is travel friendly and can easily be carried in a day pack. While I prefer lotions over sprays, you can use sprays on your clothes as well. I know that I tend to get bitten on my back through my shirt, so I'll spray the shoulders and backside of my shirt with normal insect repellent. Number two, wear loose fitting clothes or synthetic sports fabrics. Mosquitoes can still get through most clothing, so you may want to consider clothing that isn't so tight. However, most synthetic fibers, like the ones found in athletic apparel, tend to be woven tightly enough to keep mosquitoes out. A good trick to know is if the garment offers sun protection, then it likely will block out mosquito bites as well. Number three, avoid being out at dusk and dawn. If possible, try to avoid these peak hours for feeding, though I will say that if you're in a tropical setting, mosquitoes can be active at all hours of the day. Number four, Wear lighter colors. Mosquitoes are known to be attracted to contrasting colors. Wearing light colors can make it more difficult for mosquitoes to identify you. Number five, avoid areas with standing water. This can be tough since you often can't control the environment when traveling. However, just be extra cautious in places where there might be lots of moisture and standing water, especially from rains or flooding. This is the ideal location for mosquitoes to reproduce and multiply. Number six, use a mosquito net. If you're in a location where you're at risk of being attacked while you sleep, then consider using a mosquito net. I used one when I traveled through the Mekong Delta region in Vietnam. I basically tucked the ends under my mattress so mosquitoes couldn't get in. A lot of places will have them available if it's a problem, but it never hurts to call ahead and find out whether your hostel or your hotel has them. If you need one while traveling or are going camping, then you can buy one prior to your trip for not much money. Number seven, shower regularly and wear fresh clothes. Since mosquitoes are attracted to the bacteria in our sweat, it's important to shower and to change your clothes regularly. If you're traveling light, then consider having your clothes cleaned through the hotel or local laundry shop. Number eight, sit around smoke or look for a breeze. If all else fails and you happen to be around a fire, use the smoke to repel the mosquitoes. It's the most natural way to repel them and has been used for centuries to keep them away. Also, it's harder for mosquitoes to land on your body if you're in an area with a breeze. Even a slight wind can make it hard for mosquitoes to find you and land on you. Number nine, avoid scratching the bites. 
This is such a tough one. Whenever I get bitten, I feel like my body not only gets itchy, it becomes completely sensitive to everything. It's like my body goes into high alert and wants to protect itself against other bites. However, scratching only increases the inflammation and irritation. Number 10, get medications when traveling in high risk areas. Diseases like malaria and Japanese encephalitis are transmitted via mosquitoes, so it's best to check the travel condition and recommendations prior to your trip. I've included the CDC website link below, which shows the US government's recommendations for travelers. Lastly, I've seen mosquito repellent bracelets and patches that are soaked in natural and chemical repellents being used by folks with mixed results. I'm not going to recommend them since I haven't personally tried it and I can't vouch for their effectiveness. But if you're looking for another layer of protection, it might be worth checking out and trying. Though I would only use it in addition to the tips we suggested. And those are our tips for keeping mosquitoes away, especially if you're a mosquito magnet like me. Do you have any tips or experiences dealing with mosquitoes? If so, please share them in the comment section below. I've listed Amazon links to some of the products discussed in this video. Tripasuit does get a percentage if you use our links. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps us to continue building content for this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It's completely free and you'll get notified of our updates. Until next time, travel safe, travel smart.